it just restarted twice in a row, back to back, like how many seconds? A couple. Like a, no longer than a minute. Huh. Hello, and welcome to Tuesday. 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 Hello, and welcome to Tuesday. Um, that's good, sort of. I mean, it's bad that that's happening. It's a, it's a big pain in the butt. But that's the first time since I reformatted it. When was it? Uh, when did I reformat it? Yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. It was yesterday. Well, it was while you were at, at school. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, my days are squishing together. Um, yeah, I reformatted it yesterday, and I've been kind of waiting on it to, to break, honestly. And uh, it hadn't until now. So that's good, because that means that it is a hardware problem. I was like, this has got to be a hardware problem. And it is. It has to be. Because I wiped it. We don't have, like, anything on there now. And it still is acting up. So good. That happened. Um, what the next step is? No idea. But it looks like I'm going to be calling Apple again tomorrow and finding out more. Um, I call them now, but it's, it's late. Um, I did really good today. I did really good, sort of. Uh, I worked on vlogs really hardcore and got a ton of them out, and I'm very happy about that. Now, the problem is with running two channels, either of which could be full-time channels. I mean, really, think about it. We do, like, full-time work on both channels. Mostly Stephen plays, although we might be doing two, two times the workload of a normal channel over there. But we're doing all of this stuff, so if we put attention on one, then the other one's kind of like, hey, give me some stuff. So I spent all the day working on the vlog, and now... It's uh, like 9 p.m. and you know now I get to record Fallout. So I don't really like doing it this way, but I feel that I'm legitimately more productive. Like you would think that the best thing to do would be to work maybe on vlogs for a little bit and then stop kind of early and work on Let's Play stuff. Or maybe to do the Let's Play stuff first. Sometimes um, that's out of my control. Today it was actually out of my control because uh, I, I don't know if we ever mentioned on the vlog that they tore up all the carpet in the apartment complex, but um, I guess it was just time for a, a facelift, which is good. Really great that our, that our apartment complex actually cares. The HOA cares and they keep up on stuff. That's nice. The problem is um, it took them days and days and days to rip up all the carpet and they made a ton of noise and now they're putting it back and that's what they spent all day doing. So I actually didn't even get a chance to record Fallout, and then we went out this evening with my parents, so I was not even in a position to uh, to record it till now. But um, I do find that, in terms of at least like working on vlogs, that I do better if I just focus hardcore and do nothing but that. The Stephen Play stuff suffers. You okay? You had an issue? Kepler scare you? Um, but it... it it's kind of a necessity because I actually do get a lot of stuff done. I don't know. People work in different ways. They really do. Like, people work differently. And they're successful in many different ways. There's so many people I've talked to that, you know, they work better at night. Some people work better in the day. And it's really weird. And I don't know exactly why. I guess a lot of it has to do with, um, I guess, learned behavior, for one. But also probably a little bit of genetics, too. Uh, whenever I was in college, that's another thing, is that it changes throughout your life, because when I was in college, I definitely felt like I worked better at night. In fact, when the vlog was in its infancy, and actually, if we go far enough back, even before Steven Plays existed, what I did was I edited the vlog every night. It's, it's a bewildering thought to me, because I haven't been caught up on the vlog in such a long time, but a long time ago, the vlog came out every day, and how it worked is I filmed I filmed my day, and then at the end of the day, before bed, I attached my flip to the computer, and I uh, got all the, the footage off of it, cut it in Final Cut, edited it, and uploaded it, and got it up that night. And that's how it worked. And anyone who's been watching that long, there's not a whole lot of you, but anyone who's been watching that long um, remembers that. And uh, it's crazy to me now to, th to think of how that could be, just be it's probably because now I'm doing too much, I'm doing so many other projects, but that's what, that's what it used to be. Um, but in college, I, I was more productive at night, and now I can't, I can't really do that. I really need to be on the same schedule as Mal, because she has to get up so early to, you know, to go to school. Um, but I, sometimes I wonder that. And so, sometimes when I work at night, I feel more productive, but then there's other times where I wake up early and I feel pr more productive. So maybe it switches. Maybe I'm ambidextrous. Ambidextrously productive.
that's not a phrase, I, I just invented it. So why don't you guys talk about how you are most productive. Um, if you want to keep it simple and just talk day night, then do that. But maybe there's a particular thing you have to do, maybe a particular diet you have to keep. Um, maybe people are more productive when they're not consuming um, junk food. I think that's true. I think if you eat healthy, especially if you do just a little exercise, I don't do very much of it, but on the occasions where I have, like, went for a walk with Mal or something when she got home, when I returned to my work, I found that I, it felt like I worked better, so that might be something. Anyway, you can talk about that. Tomorrow's going to be a completely different day because I'm going to have to talk to Apple again. Should be pretty straightforward, though. I don't think they're going to give me any headache or trouble because, for one, I know what I'm talking about. Like, I use terms and stuff with the computers that they should be like, oh, he clearly understands what he's doing. I mean, I've owned a lot of Macs. I've, I probably shouldn't tell them this, on the, them this on the phone, but I've built a lot of Macs, and I know what I'm doing. So if I can't get the thing working after a reformat, then it feels likely there's a hardware issue. So hopefully they won't give me the runaround, and they'll just be like, yeah, something's wrong with that thing. Let's get it replaced. The question then becomes, what do we do? Like, we have to send it back? Are we going to have to go to the nearest Apple store, which is far away? Did it die again? Just randomly sitting there? It's doing it all the time now, ain't it? Well, I tried doing the backup again. So every time you activate the backup, it's killing it? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. It can't exclusively be related to USB drives because we had it crash before we ever had anything hooked up to it. I know that for sure. But that's still interesting. Every time you go to activate the thing is how it... I activate it and give it a few minutes and it freezes and then it restarts. Huh. The thing is, I don't even know if I want to tell Apple that, because then they might think it's related to that, but the fact of the matter is, before we ever hooked up anything, any external devices or anything to that, it was doing this, so there's got to be something wrong with it. Not to mention, it should not do that when you try to back it up with Time Machine. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Anyway, fingers crossed for what happens tomorrow, no idea. And then on Thursday, actually spending the day with Austin. He hasn't uh, made it to our latest D&D &D games, um, but we're going to be spending the day he's back in the area. I don't know if he'll make it for the next D&D &D game either, but um, he's back in the area on Thursday, so we'll hang out. Anyway, thanks for watching, and as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?